by. There we go. All right, we're uh, back at work the next day. So last night we got out of here and thought the rear brake was good to go, but it's not. If you look at the brake drum, it's wobbling. It wasn't wobbling on the stand. So when I was in a rush to put the drum on there last night, it was not feeling too good. I should have stopped like I would have. I looked at it, didn't see anything wrong, but oh well, now I see something wrong. So I get to pull it back apart and find out what's wrong with it. My guess is the brake drum is hitting on the inside of the hub because it's not a factory hub. Maybe that bottom bolt wasn't tight. I tied it up, it got worse. Oh, dude. Oh, well. Forget that, Jerry. I tried that. <laughs> then I spun the wheel and saw it wobbling. Now it's not supposed to wobble like that. That brake drum wasn't wobbling when, we, when you turned it. I know, I know it goes on straight. And they, uh, I know it's straight, so. That means there's something else is wrong. We trued the drum so we know it's straight. Well, I mean, that's why you mocked it up in the first place. Yeah, I didn't mock it up on the wheel and put it back in the stand. We just trued it. Balanced it, I mean. Ah. Reproduction lug nuts. What do you think? It's got to be something like that. I wish. That won't be that easy. I didn't see it wobbling when you were. Well, these didn't pull in nice and tight. I mentioned it and I looked at it and I should have stopped and went back and did my job like I'm supposed to. But nope, I was in a hurry to put it together. So I just went ahead and tightened them up, forced it in there. So I get to redo it. Yeah, well, you were going to take it off anyhow. Well, it wasn't planned on it. Oh. At least the tire still got air in it. Yeah. Plus, at least I did that part right. Well, this is not that big a deal. All I got to do is. Mallet it down a little bit and uh, tighten it up. Some comments about wheel true, and I thought that was hard. Another guy wondered why you had to offset the wheel and the bike and have to have it centered. Well, it, it, it makes it ride a little better. Uh, maybe. Well, there's your problem. The bolts are loose. You didn't mark that. Well, I figure it's wall, but I have to rebalance it anyway. All right, let's go over there. They do that sometimes when you go to this bigger yeah. bearing. Well, I'm looking in there, I don't see. It's straight in all the way down. You know, measure your depth. I had to cut those out with some of those. You know? Yeah, it's pretty loose that way. Yeah, it's got plenty of gap there. Yeah, on the lugs. I've had them when they hit in here. Don't show it. Why don't you film what we're supposed to look at? Go like that, move up the back a little bit, see more. 
Yeah, I'll try. So as you can see, marks in here where they're hitting on this kind of stuff. That's what I was looking for when I was putting it together. You got some bluing? Yeah, the problem is you have to find something that's going to blue. It doesn't matter. Tight and never run the lugs. <clears throat> what about a major the bottom of this to the opening? Uh, so I was going to try to figure out. This, it might be hitting all the way around the whole edge. It might be on that bottom step, just the step itself. See the, I don't think it's a step. Is it? Oh yeah. Too high for that. Let me get that. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Looks just kind of a false area. Yeah, we're not quite that. That's different. Oh, it's got a different stuff. Oh yeah, you can see there's about thirty thousand. I think it's right here. I think it's right here. You can see where it's marking right there? I think it's right here in this thing. No, I don't think it's that. Uh, oh, who knows? Okay, we're in zero out of color space. God damn it. Zero out that. Now we go all the way to the edge, straight up down to that. We're actually on the surface now. So six six four. Now we got a true number to go up on. No, I don't because I don't have that on there. That's where we're hitting. Right there in the outer pump. Six four seven. Yep. And you can see the mark in the drum there, too. I think a shovel head is rounded here, ain't it? See here the mark? Yeah. You can see it right there. When you turn the light, you can see it. The paint's actually pulled up on it. When you look on it straight, you don't really notice it, but... Wait a minute. The light was on already. I know. I turned it off. <clears throat> you can see that mark right yeah. there where it's hitting. It's digging in right there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so now you've got to cut this deeper, or you've got to cut the hub. I would cut that piece. This is pretty stinking thick. Yeah, I've had that same problem on those late star hubs. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought the aftermarket ones the same issues. I thought I ran across that plastic one. Yeah, right I was holding it until I wanted to look at those stupid things. Put on the plastic. Alright, so we need to cut in about 30 thou. We got at least 20 thou interference. Uh, yeah, looks like we're hitting. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit deeper than what the hit mark is, but not by much. But I hit pretty early and kept twerking, so it's pretty well hitting all the way around. You can see a mark yeah. just about all the way around the whole thing. All right, so these look nice when they got all this extra metal in here, but it causes problems. And you gotta make, take extra metal out of this. All right, let's go over the lathe and we'll see what we gotta do to fix it. Ready. Okay, I had to go find a cutter here. I can get here and get cut this with. So, went through my pile of cutters in here. Trying to find different stuff to use. So, I should, stuff like this doesn't fit. See? So, this 
one here is small enough to get in there to do it. Now if I can just hold it, that will be no problem. So we'll see. And it even looks like it has a little bit of a cutting tip on it for the knife too. Alright. Next problem is reversing our jaws around. So I can hold on the outside, not the inside. Of course, with a six jaw chuck, you have to do six jaws, take some room. These two piece jaws are a lot slower than take the jaws out and flip them. But they're more accurate, theoretically. Oh, just got myself. I thought it would be. You need a light right over that lay. So you see better. Who said I could see? Uh -huh. I think everybody watches thinks you can see. At least they hope you can see. You haven't read the comments yet. <laughs> oh, I don't read the comments. You don't watch the videos, you said. I don't watch the videos. I don't want to see myself. <laughs> I don't even look at myself in the mirror Why? I look at myself on video. Yeah. All right. Pretty close. perfectly flat over there so you try to correct the one problem it gets worse. Yeah, see right there you go high low. Yeah you got a little tiny bit of rust on that drum too. Right at that spot. And right here it goes all the way one way. Right there. From here to here, it goes high to low. Look at right there. Rust. Yeah. Big, not just rust, there's other issues in there. No, it's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, just 
rock in this hood. And you said you can't see. Look your lines. The biggest problem is looking the up and down. Yeah, well that's just the casting going. No, it's here. Oh yeah, I see that. I don't think it's going to matter once you cut out a little bit you got to cut out. Yeah, well, just nothing is perfectly square. I don't care what you use. See, I can actually move my truck a little bit. Like oh, this. can you? Yeah, I don't want to dick with it. Well, man, this must be fun to get it back, huh? Yeah, I'll, that's why I don't want to screw it because it's, it's, it's where I want it to be right now. I don't want to change it. Yeah, I don't think I would. I didn't know you had a, that access on your truck. Yeah. That's kind of nice, but when you're getting it out, it'd be a pain getting it back. It's the option dump chuck. It has more than one feature to six shows. My option up chuck has been when I was drinking a long time ago. <laughs> it was option up chuck. That was called up chuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's our center point here? You can see in there. Where's the damn thing at? Yeah, it actually looks pretty close. about that far. We're going to start having problems. Can you get in there? Oh, yeah. I can actually pull it in quite a bit, which will help. Side, not the inside anyway. See, I got it set about the same height as here. The angle. Mm-hmm. At the top view. So you're looking at the angle of the right bed there. there. Taper. And then you come out this way and it's close to the other angle over here. Mm-hmm. So it'll fit in there pretty easy. So looking through there. You can adjust that, you know. Adjust what? Oh yeah, I know. Okay, next thing I want to do, I want I'm to trying to put the part in the middle of the picture. Next thing is we want to set this here so we can see how deep we're going to go. We're going to cut in at least 30 thousand of them. And that'll be a lot more. Just hitting, we got a curve like that, we're only hitting here. So if I cut this deeper and bring it wider, we'll gain everywhere. I like the drum up a lot too. Alright, let's put this thing in. Down here and low. Low over.
Here's your mark down uh, here. I know, I gotta see where I'm hitting now. See where I'm hitting right there heavily. That's the part I'm hitting on. So, I forget how much we're gonna go. the same diameters even though you go deeper so you have to come out further so we came right out well it's, out. it's out here where you really got to cut not so much right. in there well i'm cutting both. yeah i know you're cutting both Jeez. i'm gonna cut some more coming out i have to step it back up a little bit because i can't cut all the way at one shot Pretty good. Let you know when you cut deep enough. Chatter's a little. Yep. deeper throughout the whole thing. Now we take it off, we'll see if it fits. Now, to know exactly where we put it back at, we're gonna mark it. I think I'm probably turn 180 degrees from this spot. Let's find out for that mark right there. Pretty good area in there. Yeah. It's still pretty thick in there. Oh, it should be. 
<laughs> well, it's been cutting from this side too. Yeah. Which we still might have to come back and see that. Shoes drag, let's come back and cut from that side. At some point, the drum falls off. We're gonna get some tape. Tape gets cut, we know we're too close. So I'll grab me five lugs and a tool hanger. Dumbass. Too mad. They don't go over there when they're in that spot. Are you sure? Yeah, I've done that a few times. Don't feel don't feel alone in the world. I'm not the only one? No. Am I in the right one this time? Oh, I got the right hole that time. I didn't break them. I wasn't the one throwing it down on the table, right. chipping the paint up. On the table or the wheel? The, no, not the wheel, the, the table. This is not a good bench. It's, really neat. it's not a bad bench. It's not a very good one either. Well, the only reason that one's better over there is because it's got the drawers underneath it. No, it's a lot thicker. No, I don't think it is. I think they're the same. No, they're not. Nope, they're not. Take that back. I should check before I shoot my mouth. That's right. That's why they're on this side of the counter. Yeah. They're weaker. The heavy ones that I use all the time are on the other side. I'm going to plan that a little bit. Maybe. You can tell when you carry them off the truck which one's heavier. Oh, yeah. Chances are if it's heavier, it's probably stronger. They're still a lot better than those cheap ass ones they sell these days. <laughs> oh yeah, you, you know, the only way you get these ones is go to a place that has them or go to a good auction. Good auction. Old business going out of business. But I bought these things 20 years ago, so they were used when I bought them. Yeah, I think I might have been in one of the auctions when you bought some of this stuff. Okay, we don't have that uh, large pull-up like we had before. That is just tight. See, before I had a couple turns where there were kind of a lot of squeeze going on. Now it just pulls right in. Yeah, I didn't notice that. I'm, you know, of course I wasn't thinking. I was just thinking fan head you just wheel. I didn't get think. Get the hell out of here and go home. Yeah, that's pretty much. I was pretty tired. You know. But I really thought, yeah, I didn't think, you know, because anytime you use those later hubs, you got to do alternations, you know. If you go back and watch your videos, you can see all these errors. We could always go back and edit that out, though. Oh, yeah. That would be like a professional video, though. Of course, there wouldn't be anything left of video after you <laughs> You've got time to edit all that stuff out. That's the problem, is you know. There wouldn't be any video left to get it at all the good stuff. Yeah, we'll let the customer wear it. If you don't like it, just fast forward. We'll let you do your self editing. Well, they get to see that everybody's human, so when they make a mistake, you know, or they not make a mistake, when they didn't foresee everything, that's put it in the proper way, there's always something that'll jump out and get you.
but at least you had the machinery to be able to fix it and the knowledge. So, see how the tape is not crushed anywhere? Looks good. Pass the tape test. Of course, now we gotta paint it. So, what's your heavy duty brake paint? I don't know. I don't know either. We can't lay a stuff around here someplace. There it is right there. That's the official can right now. Official? Does it say official on it? Says engine paint. Oh, that's it. That's the one. First, we do it right in here. There's no fumes or anything. That's official. I, I properly mask it too. Why wow, you just spraying down the groove that you can't see? Well, I did hit the flange a little bit right here. And officially, uh, take off the high spots. There. Rick didn't like those. This stinks in here now. And that was the official timing code. And you got at least two coats on everything around here. Yeah, it's coated. I can tell the same painter did it because it's got the same problems with it. <laughs> One thing about overspray, if you tighten it up pretty quickly, it just oozes out and it doesn't matter. It appears there might be a run in there too. I don't know how that happened. Yeah. You're going 60 miles now, you're never going to find it. Oh, is that what it was? No, I used to have a mark on there. There it is, I see it. That one over here. Is that the right spot or I messed it up? Mm -hmm. got two, you got a chance to make it. 50 50 to be wrong? Yeah. No, I got it right. some paint come off my table there. Yeah. Look at this one over here. You look at all the paint you came off that one. Yeah, look at all the paint came off here. Oh. Uh -huh. So you know that one's been used. Maybe. That's how you tell. You know that's not rusty except where you touch it? Yeah, well, I, you know, I bring uh, amusement to the people. At least I'm not like Walker. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's all right. Don't. That's all right. He'll come by and make some comments about forever. Or Mario. Yeah, well, it's all fun. I don't think anybody really hates anybody. So. <laughs> A couple of haters. <laughs> Depends on the month <laughs> of the year. and pull tight. Whatever that is, that appears to be tight. Yep, that's tight. I heard, I heard pop over here, so it must have been a rough torque. <laughs> you know, if you put them that tight, I've never had one come loose. Yep, it didn't come loose yet. Let's do a balance job. Space here. That plate.
I used a light duty plate today. Still got my hammer here. I don't know it's correct. Don't be comment about balancing yet. Maybe they didn't know what I was doing. Or they saw it in a previous video. You never know. They're too busy complaining about me. That's right. That's a lot to complain about. Oh well. Now you know why the old lady left. <laughs> <laughs> My table's going down. Right to my mind. Okay, heavy spot. Where's the weights? Appears the weights aren't heavy enough. So we're off by that far, still enough to worry about. Okay, it didn't change. At least not enough to worry about. Okay, don't sit on it, it hurt your butt. Okay, I'm gonna get back to important work now. Let's see if it fits together and works. Straighten the damn swing arm out. Stop all this damn grunt and grunt I gotta do over here. Oh, it doesn't grind anymore, Rick. Brake drum's turning a lot truer this time. Yet, Rick. I paint it. I gotta paint it. You gonna paint it? With the big crescent out. Wrenches too. Really? Yeah. Still oh. not wobbling? Looks good. Not dragging. 
I hit in here, not wobbling. Ready for assembly. It doesn't hit anywhere. It's assembled right now. No, you gotta put the slave cylinder in there, brake what? shoes. Look how low drag that is. Yeah. People don't it, like drum brakes. They like them rubby ass disc brakes that drag like crazy. See you know how much speed that cost me? Yeah. I like disc brakes more. Yeah, but they drag. Oh they do drag. I must not loosen up going that way. I use that that four on my uh, my pan head. I use that four prong, four puck uh, four. Triumph car. Mm -hmm. uh, Brake, boy, that's, I never even put front brakes on that thing. It would stop on a dime. Mm -hmm. I never had anything stop so good. All right. Now you can't get me, Mark. I don't like those cars anymore. Everybody stole them? Well, I mean, it's an old car, you know, in the 70s. That was pretty new stuff, you know. <laughs> When you did it, <laughs> yeah, you can't even find the old cards to get the discs, so you know, you gotta buy these other ones. <laughs> you can't buy tri tri semi triumph racing, <laughs> well, you might find them someplace, but I doubt you're gonna get them for eight dollars like you used to get them back in the day. <laughs> yeah. I just think so heavy. All the new cars have too big of a master, I mean, too big of disc brake, you know? They don't have those thin disc brakes like the foreign cars had. Yeah. Okay. Now we get to work on the roof, putting this thing together and see how it works. So we'll be back, get, more, get some more parts.